This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. The physical structure involves sites and site links, and when communicating or replicating between sites, bridgehead servers are used. The KCC is also bridging all site links by default, treating them as transitive. This is not always the desired behavior, and it can be a little bit confusing. So we're going to take a look at it graphically. Let's consider a scenario where we have four separate sites. Site 1, Site 2, Site 3, and Site 4. Okay. Now the links that are created are the link of Site 1 to Site 2, Site 2 to 3, and site three to four. Those are the only links. And the reason that we don't have a link between one and four is because we don't want anybody, we don't want them communicating. With the bridging of all site links, the KCC would see and tell a bridgehead server in site one called DC1 that it is able to communicate with DC4. And it might create a connection object between those two because it is seeing these as transitive. So what happens when we disable site link bridging? So we can disable the, the bridging of site links. It's just a, a simple uh, checkbox. Okay? When we do that, we force the KCC to follow the actual links and to only create connection objects for that. Now, if we did want the KCC to treat one link as transitive, then I could create a bridge. I can manually create bridges, and that bridge would be a bridge for one to two and two to three. It would include both of those site links. So you're essentially telling the KCC it's okay to create connection objects between domain controllers one and two, or even from domain controller one directly to domain controller three because we bridged those links. However, you cannot connect, create one from between domain controller one and domain controller four because it's a separate link and we've disabled the bridging of site links. All the communication between these sites is going to be between bridgehead servers across the site link at, at defined uh, windows and intervals. And so, in some networks, I don't need to disable site link bridging because I've fully routed and I don't have any complex network issues. The larger your environment and the more sites, the more likely you're going to want to do some of this manually. So hopefully, this looking at this graphically has helped to understand what the KCC will do by default and then what it will do if we disable the bridging of all site links.